Happy Monday, Inspire Beauty. We are recording. I first, I'm going to share the screen, but you guys, I was listening to Amanda's replay from last week and so good. So good. If you took the time to be on there live with her um, or listen to the replay, I'm sure you wrote down your short term goals, what you want to achieve, you know, by the end of each month to month as we get closer to the end of 2019, but also a year from now, you know, and I loved, like, it warmed my heart to read through her list of goals, and um, and it got my wheels turning that I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder what everyone else wrote down during that call, and what everybody else uh, has brewing in their own personal journey, their beach body business, um, in their self-care, and just in their life, like, what do you want to achieve? And I think what I love most about what we do as coaches is we just get a chance to dream bigger. Never once when I was a school teacher did we ever sit down and say, what do you want to achieve in the next year? I don't think there's ever a, a single meeting where anyone asked me that question. And I love that we get to do this together. So if you haven't spent the time, it's a very quick training. She did about 16 minutes talking about vision boards, goal setting, um, very quick, but effective, you guys. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you go watch and listen to her replay. I haven't missed, um, that is the first team training that I've missed this entire year. And the reason is because I love them. I look forward to Mondays. I look forward to learning. I look forward to growing. Even if you think like, oh, Brittany gets on here and she just teaches us stuff. No, like I have to know what I'm doing in order to teach it, right? Like I got to know what I'm talking about first. So it offers me an opportunity to stretch myself and grow in my own business to ensure that I'm helping you guys grow in yours. Um, and so they're a priority for me because I love them. I love the time that we get to have together face to face. I love getting to pour into you guys. I love having other people come in and pour into our team, guest speakers on our team and not on our team. It's just all good stuff. So I was really sad last week. I actually did buy the Wi-Fi on the flight, uh, <laughs> but fun fact, uh, airplane Wi-Fi is not strong enough to get a Zoom signal for streaming. Didn't know that. But I didn't waste the money because I watched the National Wake Up Call replay and I got some stuff done on my checklist while I was in the air. So all good things. But thank you, Amanda, seriously, for taking the mic last week. I loved getting to hear you pour your leadership into our team. Guys, clear your code challenge. If you don't know what that is, we have a little challenge going on on the team page this month where I want you to clear your codes. We were given promo codes if you're an active coach at the top of August and the promo codes are for $10 off a challenge pack that is priced at $150 or higher, okay? Um, and so basically you have three codes that you can offer anybody this month. Now, if you have a controlled business center, like for example, Charlie is my controlled business center, I just say, hey Charlie, will you forward me your codes? And now I have six codes. So some of you guys, or if you have like downline coaches who don't work the business, but they were active and they got the codes, either encourage them to use them or ask for them, right? Like, let's use these codes up. You don't have to just stop at three, but the challenge is three codes cleared for everyone. So far, the first prize, Coffee on Me, Taylor, Leah, Kayla, myself, and Amanda have all hit that one code benchmark, two codes. We've got Kristen on the board for that. And three codes will get you a really fun, uh, um, headband that I love from Maven Thread. And also Beachbody is giving away this month. If you hit Success Club, you also get a Jericho bobblehead, which is super fun. So I want to keep um, seeing more names getting added to this list. Keep clearing those codes. Keep helping change lives, you guys. Um, last time I was on Zoom, I announced the location of our Diamond Retreat. It's going to be in Dallas during the Super Weekend. Um, that's a really big Super Weekend there. They bring in a, they always bring in a, a Super Trainer and have lots of great content poured in. So it won't just be like some small one like uh, what I typically host here in San Jose. This is a really big one. Um, November 1st through 3rd. And to qualify, you must be Diamond by September 25th. So when you wake up on September 26th, your back office will acknowledge that you are a diamond coach and you have to hit success club in both August and September. Guys, it's so possible. And I'm about to do something um, on our Emerald page coming into September. I've got some stuff up my sleeve. So if you're like, if this is kind of on your radar at all, you guys hit success club this month. Like don't count. Cause the thing is, if you don't hit success club in August, then you already just decided for yourself that you aren't worthy of attending this and that's so silly so hit success club this month help three people and then stay tuned because in september i'm going to help you help you help you go diamond in your business i promise 
um, success, uh, not success club, but summit. Love seeing these names on there. If you don't have a ticket for coach summit just yet, make sure that you are going to coach summit.com and getting all the information about ticket prices and all that good stuff so that you can lock in your ticket and be there next year with us. Mark your calendars. Also, you guys next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to be our monthly coach sneak peek. Last month, I had a lot of coaches ask me, Brittany, like, you know, how do you prep for this? How do you plan for this? And we went through a whole calendar series together where we figured out our marketing calendars. And, um, and so I want you to realize that that's coming up next week. So if you are going to um, invite the business this month and you want to have that tool to help you, be sure that you are starting to talk about coaching this team, this environment, this community, all the things you love um, sprinkled throughout your social media between now and next week so that you have some leverage to invite, okay? Tonight, you guys, we're talking about conversations. Oh, I had one more announcement really quick. Collagen. Collagen, I feel like I haven't talked about this enough since Summit. I literally purchased this the second I found out that it was at Summit. I probably like peed myself a little. I was so excited, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, I, had a, I had a notion that it was coming out, but I wasn't 100%. And then when they really like said, no, actually we have collagen and you can actually get your hands on it in the core shopping experience, I was there like, like elbowing people to get my collagen. Not really, <laughs> but I got my collagen. Um, and this is actually my second tub. I've already used a tub and purchased another one. Um, cool thing is, you guys, this is like $27 as a coach. And it is, this combined with something else will help you stay active. Like a lot of times people are like, do I have to have Shakeology to stay active? Not necessarily. If you have Shakeology coming out of your freaking ears, that doesn't mean that you have to like pause everything and com completely be inactive. Those days are over. When I first started coaching, if you paused your Shakeology, like you were a dying coach, like you had nothing to breathe with because Shakeology was literally the only product we had. We have so many products now. So what I did to keep Charlie's account active, you guys, is I bought a collagen and I bought a thing of hydrate because we needed more hydrate in the house. And so two great products that I love. I love doing a scoop of hydrate with a scoop of energize. If you've never tried that, you need to live a little. It's awesome. And I also add collagen to my energize every single stinking morning. You guys, I used to buy collagen um, through vital proteins, which I love vital proteins. They're good. Like they they do they do the right the right thing, right? It's a good product. But this is way cheaper for the exact same thing. Yeah, and I'm supporting a brand and a company that I freaking love and believe in, right? So collagen, if you haven't tried it, I highly encourage you, product spotlight of the month. And then you can just talk about it. I talk about it on my stories all the time, right? And you can sprinkle it in so that when somebody, when you're having these conversations, which we'll get to, somebody will come back and say, oh, hey, what's that collagen that you're always adding in? Can I get that too? And then it's like, cool, I'll just add that to the cart. But it's because they've seen you talk about it a lot, right? Um, and there's an art to that. So tonight we're going to talk about the types of conversations that you'll encounter. We're not going to dwell too many, too long on, on all different types of conversations, but I will give you a little brief of, of, of all the types of combos that I encounter on my daily, you know, um, when I sit down to work my business each day. I'm going to really hone in on how to navigate the timeline of the invitation process. When somebody says they want more in, information, once that happens, there's a timeline that I go through that I want to navigate and give you the tools for. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a third party tool, which is basically just the resource of all this stuff compiled that um, will help you work more efficiently when you are sending out these invitations. So the different types of conversations that I'm having on a daily basis, when I sit down to work, you guys, I am number one, I'm forming relationships with people. I'm building conversations where I'm simply just getting to know somebody, especially on Instagram where I might not know that person personally. I just met them via social media. We had some things in common. So like I followed them or they started following me or whatever. Um, and so with somebody like this, I might comment on their posts. I might double tap and love some of their things. If they have an active story, I always love to watch that. And if there's something that like makes me laugh out loud or is silly, like, um, Today, there was, sometimes people will put their daughters on and, and like little girls are just too much for me sometimes. And I just, I always have to comment, like be like, oh my gosh, like I can't even right now, right? And so I'll just literally have a genuine conversation with them via what they're sharing on their stories. I love when people have active stories. So that's a really easy way for me to get into their inbox and start a personal one-on-one um, -on -one conversation. But if you find that you're struggling in this, like, I, I don't know what to say to this person, or I, I don't know what to comment on their pictures, or, or I watch their stories and I don't have anything to say, 
I'm going to suggest that maybe that's not the right person for you. Like, I feel like the people that I am able to form a relationship with, I literally have a genuine connection, an authentic connection with them pretty quickly. Um, whether it's their season of life that they're in, maybe they have, um, something in common with me, like a dog, or we live in a similar area. I have a lot of California friends. I am starting to build some relationships with people in Texas. And like, so I have questions for them. And I'm like, I'm so creepy. I know this, like, I'm totally moving to Dallas, like really soon. Like, do you live in that area? Like, and, and it's, people don't get creeped out by it because I'm being authentic. I'm being genuine. And then they can go to my story, you guys, and they can see that I'm not full of it right? Like they see me packing. They see, they can see that, that journey. So there's not a disconnect between like what I'm saying in private and what they can publicly see on my, uh, on my feed as well as in my stories, right? So forming conversations, big deal. That is a very big deal every day. Um, if you feel like the same people are watching your story or commenting and liking on your posts and you feel like your well has run dry, like, man, Brent, it's the same people every time. And I have already invited them and they, they don't answer me. They ghost me or, or they've already told me that they don't want to do it or whatever. Then may I suggest you're not building enough new relationships, right? So if you feel that, then do something about it. Um, I found what I love to do, you guys, is I love on Instagram to go to something that I love. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of panicking because I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi. <sighs> I should switch it really quick. If it kicks me off, I'll be right back. Am I still here? Can you guys give me a thumbs up? Am I alive? Am I here? Yay! Okay. Sorry, I just realized like, oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi and if you've been around the block before with me, the wrong Wi-Fi will kick me off eventually. So anyway, we are all good. Um, something I love doing though, is I love finding things like on the explore page, first of all, Instagram tells you what you like. There are algorithms that are watching what you are interested in on a daily basis. And your explore page, which is literally the home page, will tell you everything you like. Obviously, some of you guys can see that I love food. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, I love food. And you'll see there's like teacher stuff because you can see like back to school classroom stuff and you can see um, more food. Okay, great. Wow, you got a problem. Uh, <laughs> but it's literally food and back to school right now. There might be some fitness stuff. There's not a lot of fitness stuff. If you happen to see that yours is like all fitness stuff, then maybe you're following too many Beachbody accounts, right? Like you might want to start branching off of like non-fitness related things to find people that you would be able to genuinely connect with, okay? So I'll go to like an, uh, an account that's a big account on here and that's how I'll find new people to build new relationships with. So this person did her very first feed up Friday post. And if you're a teacher or you know about teaching, that's like a big deal for teachers to put their feet up on a Friday. Um, and so she did her first post. And so I could go to that and I could look at 623 people liked that. I could then literally press that and start following people from there and then you know, as they follow me back, whatever, I see them in my feed, I watch their stories, I can then start building a relationship with them. That though is the root of how I start that. Okay, enough about that. This call is not about forming relationships. Next thing you do, next type of conversation I do, are personal invitations. These are people who maybe are watching my story, Maybe they've shown interest simply by they're always watching my story. Maybe they've never said anything. They've never taken a poll. They've never commented, but they're always watching, right? Or it could be somebody that is a follower of mine or a friend of mine who I think they'd love the group. They have not physically asked me for more information, but yet I'm going to invite them because I think that they would love what I have to offer, right? And I would do this through a private message um, inviting them, right? Just asking them to join the group. If you need verbiage on how to invite somebody, on our team page in the announcement post, there's a bunch of announcements. I have like five of them pinned there. That's where you see our like weekly happenings calendar. Underneath that, you'll see one that says say yes to invites. And, um, and I have a bunch of different invitation examples that you can check out, okay, if that's something you need help with. The next one is what I'm going to get into the bulk of tonight. And that's when somebody has actually expressed that they're interested in joining a group and they want more information. And the reason I want to laser focus in on this type of conversation tonight is because I can't tell you what to say when you're forming a relationship with somebody because I'm not you. I don't have the exact same interests as you. And I also don't have your tone and your unique style of communication. I talk one way and I can't script that for you because it won't sound like you and it'll just be weird, right? This has to be authentic. 
So I'm not going to talk about that tonight. And I don't want to talk about just like personal invites that are basically like what I would call like a cold invite. Somebody who's watching you, um, at, I guess I call more like a lukewarm invite. Somebody who's watching you or they're your friend or follower and you're sending them a personal invite. I'm giving you plenty of scripts on that. But where I want to navigate tonight is when somebody actually says, hey, yeah, I'm interested in the group. Either they took your poll, maybe they took your poll on your story, um, or when you sent them a personal invite, they replied back, yeah, I'd love more information. Or somebody commented on a post, or they flat out privately messaged you and said, hey, what the heck are you freaking doing? I need to know, right? So we're going to hone in on that. Follow-ups is the other type of conversation, and follow-ups are woven through all of these. Following up with somebody that you, so today when I friend, or not friend requested, but when I followed some people today, if they followed me back, a follow-up for forming a relationship would be to continue forming a relationship, right? I want to keep following up so they don't fall through the crack. I want to keep building a relationship. I could follow up somebody who I personally invited that never replied to me simply by saying, hey, did you see my message, right? But there's also follow-ups woven into somebody who's interested in your group and that you're in that dialogue with about what you have to offer. And I will talk about those tonight, okay? So I've got this all broken down into like a timeline. And there's literally, you guys, three steps that I go through every single time to get to a win. And I screenshot and took you through exactly what I did this weekend to get my last challenge pack sale. I will tell you that this person I'm so excited about because her and I have been in dialogue for quite some time and she was finally ready. But that just shows the power, you guys, in not stopping because she's been watching me for so long. She knows I'm reliable. And when she was finally ready, when it was finally the right time for her, who do you think she reached out to? Right? And so you've got to understand that just because you invite somebody and they say no, or they give you the runaround or they ghost you, doesn't mean that they're never going to join you. Okay. And so I'm really excited about this person um, in particular, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what I did with her. So the first step is you privately invite somebody to join you, or maybe they took a poll, right? It goes back to that last screen where either they actually express their interest in your group and they want more info, or when you sent them an invitation, they said, yeah, I want more inf information. So once they say they're interested, awesome. This is where you guys, we've got to be excited because if you, if somebody says, yeah, I'd like more information, and you're like, cool, uh, I love this group. It's, it's changed my life. Um, could I email you more information? Like, it doesn't really sound like it's changed your life, boo-boo. Like, no, you got to have some energy, right? And so, like, my energy, I, I, sometimes I have to be careful because I've got to make sure by the time Charlie gets home that I have energy left for my husband because I put a lot of energy into these conversations because I want them to hear my excitement and my passion through my message. And so a lot of times I use a lot of emojis. You can see up here, she took my poll and said, like, it's time. I think the poll was like, it's time. And she clicked it. And I put eek and I put a bunch of like happy kitties, right? And I put, it's like Christmas for me right now. This makes me so happy. That's the first thing I said to her, not shakeology. <laughs> Like, right? Like the first thing I'm going to address is like, get excited. Let them know how happy you are about them wanting more information. Right now with her, I've sent her stuff before. I have her email. I did not ask for her email, but typically what the next step I would tell you to do is say, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I like, I, I think you just love this group, but I'd love to send you more information first. What email is best? I don't just say, can I send you an email? I don't want to know if I can send them an email. They've already told me they're interested. So I'm not going to ask a yes or no question. I'm going to ask what email I can send them the information to because the answer I want is their email. I don't want their answer to be, sure, you can send me more information and then then go off and make dinner and forget about me, right? And then I never got their email. I want to know their email. So cut to the chase, right? So they say they're interested. Amazing. Ask them what email you can send more info to. I'm going to give you this template right here. Um, at the end, we'll circle back to it. But this is the self-care sisterhood info. You guys, I have this saved on my computer in a canned response. If you don't know what a canned response is, I've done trainings on this before. You can go to my YouTube channel and you can type that in canned response and you can figure out how to set up a canned response, but it will save your life. Cause I literally go compose, I paste their email in and I pull up the canned response of the self-care sisterhood info and I <laughs> slap that in there and I hit send. That's it. 
It takes me all of 30 seconds. I don't have to tell them everything because this email is going to do the work for me. When, we, uh, when I share with you at the beginning, I'm going to talk to you about third-party tools. That's what this is. This is a third-party tool so that I am literally not vomiting in their inbox. I'm bringing it professionally to their email and allowing them the chance to read through what I need them to know. And then with that, I also want to get to know their goals. So at the bottom, I have a link here that says self-care sisterhood challenge group application or questionnaire or whatever it's called now. Um, but along with the email is a place for me to get to know them better. So I do this through a Google form. You can create a Google form um, to ask whatever questions you want to know about their journey. For example, what's worked for them in the past? What hasn't worked so great for them in the past? Um, I have them rate their self-care, their nutrition, their, um, their overall fitness. I have them rate that on a scale one to 10. I ask them if they're willing to invest in themselves, time, money, energy. I had somebody answer that answer no this weekend to that. Ooh, that's scary, right? You're not willing to invest in yourself? Well, I think our conversation is probably going to be over really soon, right? They have to be willing to invest in themselves. Otherwise, I, they're not going to want what I have to offer, yeah? And so these are important questions that I, that I found in my business to ask. And so you can always peep at mine. It's in my Instagram handle. Uh, on my profile page, you can, you can look at it to see the types of questions that I ask. But you also, if you don't want to create a form, you could also attach the questions to the bottom of the email and just say, hey, you know, reply back with answers to these questions, right? So that's step one. Somebody says they're interested, you say, amazing, I'm so pumped. What email can I send more info to? And then you send them this. Okay, step two. So, oh, sorry, I'm like going a mile a minute right now. So, I have told them that, or I send the email. The second I send it, I always pop back into their inbox with a voice memo and I say, hey, I just sent the email. Let me know if it doesn't go through. Sometimes it goes to spam, right? Like I can't control if they see it or not, right? So I, or like maybe I had fat fingers and I typed the wrong email address on accident or something, right? Like I'm human, there are human errors, right? So I always say, hey, I just sent the email. Let me know if it doesn't go through if you don't see it. You're going to see some information at the top about the group. And then right under that, you're going to see a little link. And I want you to click on that and just send, send me back uh, answers to that questionnaire. And uh, that way I can get to know you a little bit better, know your goals a little bit better, and see if this would be a good fit for you. I'll check back in with you, you know, and like on Friday, I was telling people, I hope you have an awesome weekend um, and, and that you can get to this. I'll check back in with you on Monday if I haven't heard from you. So then today, when I checked back in with them, I had already told them that. Right. So um, I let them know what I want from them because I found that when I send this email, a lot of times people will just hold on to it and they don't actually send the questionnaire back. So I send them an immediate message, letting them know what I expect from them. I'm already like setting the, the stage there. OK, so they fill out the questionnaire. They send it back. It's in my inbox. Perfect. The next thing I'm doing is I'm replying to their goals. So the timeline of the invite after we know that they want more information and we've plugged information their way, now it's time to get to know their goals and to see if this group would be a good fit for them. Like I said, I had somebody send back a questionnaire and say, no, they didn't want to invest themselves. This group might not be a good fit for you because I am going to ask you to spend a little bit of time caring for you and a little bit of money in the process. And I promise that I'll do everything I can to be the best coach for you in this journey, but you are going to have to invest something, right? And so it's, imp it's important for me to also understand. Some people, I get this back. I had somebody who really wanted to do ultimate portion fix or 2B mindset. They were trying to decide which one. And then when I got their form back, I found out that they were vegan. And you guys, I did both of those programs, mostly vegan, and they suck. Like, it's hard to do those programs when you're not a meat eater. They're really challenging. Now, I, will, I can navigate them, but I think the common person would have a really hard time understanding the containers um, when they're like literally removing the red and literally removing the blue because they're vegan, right? Like it's just challenging. And so understanding that I can help them better, right? Maybe this group isn't the best fit for them and that's okay too. So once I get their email and I'll, I'll show you a bigger version of this, I send back the same template. I literally go to my canned response and the title is Thank you for sharing your goals with me. Like that's what the title of it is, right? And I send it back. And it says, let's chat about your application. And then the first paragraph, I talk about what has been challenging for them and I relate to it and I tell them how this group will benefit them. In the second little paragraph, again, like I say paragraph, but guys, look how small this is. Like 
it's, it's not a lot. I'm not word vomiting. And I hope tonight that's what you're getting from this because I've had so many coaches recently send me back screenshots or like, Hey, this is what I'm going to say next. And I'm literally like this. No, no, like stop the insanity. Stop vomiting on them. You have to, you have to give a little bit at a time without overwhelming somebody. And so I'm, I'm telling them what they struggled with. I'm acknowledging that. And I'm talking about how the group will benefit. Then I talk about what has worked for them and I acknowledge it. And I talk about how our group will also help that. And then I let them know about the fitness aspect, the nutrition aspect and the support. And then I ask them a couple more questions. These are clarifying questions really to see, are you really ready to hear the prices? Cause I got your goals. I know where your heart's at. I know what you want to do, but are you really ready to make that change? Because you guys, there's a difference between somebody wanting more info and somebody actually being ready to sign up, okay? Understand that. Just because someone's ready for more information doesn't mean they're ready to start. And sometimes that's like the worst because we get so excited because they're like, yeah, I want more info. And we're like, yes, I'm at SE 10 now. Like I'm helping all the people. And it's like, no, that person just wanted more info, right? So we've got to take them through the ringer through the process. So I reply to their goals, letting them know how the group will help them. And then I ask a couple more clarifying questions. So I ask them first and foremost, do you currently have a Beachbody On Demand membership? Right? I want to know, do you already have this membership? If they do, then I might ask them, well, what workouts have you tried before? Right? Because they obviously are familiar. I ask them if they currently have a Beachbody coach. I have had people answer this back. Yes, I do. And then the conversation really has to take a turn that I'm not in the business of taking people from other people. Right? Um, number three is kind of a clarifying question. So, uh, if they say something like I had a, a person the other day say, I have a hard time being committed to my goals. Well, that's really vague and broad. Why, why is that? Like, what do you think gets in the way? And so I said, talk to me more about what gets in the way of you being committed to your goals. And so she was able to open up to me about that. And then are you willing to log your workouts, nutrition, um, and engage in our app daily? Just like four qu clarifying questions. You could even uh, ask the question, um, does, does this sound good so far? Right? Because if they're like, yeah, it sounds good so far, cool, we're on to the next step, right? Now is the time that we would show them pack options. You guys, I've had a lot of conversations with somebody at this point. A lot of conversation. Because I haven't even just, they haven't even told me that they're interested, but we've probably formed a relationship. I've probably invited them in the past and had to follow up. And now they're actually really interested and ready. And then I sent them an email. They sent me their goals. I emailed them back again. They sent me these questions, clarifying questions back. Wow, that's a lot, of, that's a lot isn't it? It doesn't happen in one sitting. On average, I probably go back and forth with somebody, I mean, once they like want more information, probably nine times, nine times. And so we've gotta get out of this mindset that like, I'm just gonna give them everything all at once and like cross my fingers that they join. Good luck with that. I don't think you're gonna be very successful. Right? But every time I've practiced this exact method, whoo, a lot of success. Okay, so I had sent her an email with the pack options, and I'll show you what that looked like in a second. But I also sent this back to her um, inbox as well, because I was afraid that for some reason the image wasn't going to show up. So this is just a little screenshot of, of like an example of the options. And I say in a good, better, best formula, good, better, best, right? This is proven. You guys, when we go to Starbucks, what do most people order? What size? When you go to McDonald's. Yeah. Grande, super size. Grande, super size, right? Vin venti. Yeah. Do people get the tall? No, people don't get the tall. Exactly. Sometimes we get the tall. In general, in our gluttonous society, y'all, most people go for the medium size at McDonald's or the super size, right? Because it's better value and you get more for less. So we're using that same strategy here. If you're like, why do we show these packs like this? Because I'm literally giving them the menu. I want to provide them the menu so they can see what comes in every pack. But at this point, you guys, they're ready for it. They are not ready for the menu. When let's say, and, and, and I know we skip to this a lot of times, I've been victim of it too in my business, where you say, hey, I'd love for you to join this group. And they're like, how much is it? And then we send them this. 
whoa, 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 they're not ready for that because they're not going to join. If their first question back is how much is it, they don't want to join. Like they don't want to join. If somebody asks me how much is it, I say, oh my gosh, we're going to get to all that. But first, I'd love to hear more about you. Can I email you some info and you, you share your goals with me? And if they don't want to do that, then they don't want to, they're not going to join, right? So like back it on up and control your conversation. But the good, better, best uh, formula is really helpful, you guys. And every time a new pack comes out, I always share with you the up, like the, the most common, um, the most updated graphic. So make sure you're staying on the team page looking out for these. But this is what I sent. And I let her know that the blue prices are the promo for the month, $20 off. Ooh, that sounds fun, right? Like this is just the month. Like that's going to go up by 20 bucks. And I also have a $10 off code I can gift you. Notice I don't say I can give you. It's a gift. I'm going to gift you another 10 bucks off. It's all in the, like the little tweaks of your verbiage. Right, guys? Um, and then I said, let me know what pack looks best. I personally use everything in the deluxe. I could stop the Zoom right there, you guys. I could just freaking mic drop it. How many times do we try to sell somebody on the cheapest pack because we want to play it safe and we're like, I don't want them to say no because the deluxe pack is $219 and I just, I want to get a, I, I just want to get them in my group and I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Here's the reality, you guys. Once they get in my group, they're going to see me using Shakeology. They're going to hear me talk about Energize. They're going to hear me talk about my Recover Brownie Batter. Once they get in my group, they're going to see all three of those products. In fact, they're going to see the Beach Bars as well. So I could honestly tell them I, I use everything in the Mega Pack because I truly do. But I want them to get the, their hands on the things I use on a daily basis that I freaking love and swear by. Right? And the deluxe pack is $219. But remember, I told them I have a $10 off code. I can gift them. So that's only $209. That's not so bad, right? Guys, I can't tell you how many <laughs> packs I've sold that are deluxe packs simply because of this one line. I'm telling them what I personally use. And it's true. I use all those things. Right? And so that's, that's something, that's just a tip. I will tell you also, somebody on our team, uh, came to me like she was so excited because somebody was interested in more information and I took her through this entire process You guys we walked through this It was maybe like three days that it took us to get through the whole thing as that person was emailing her back And she was giving her the next steps, but I'll tell you I told that coach To tell her that she uses everything in the deluxe pack and I don't think that coach actually uses everything in the deluxe pack But would you know that that person signed up with a deluxe pack? simply because she recommended it yeah so i offer what i use as a suggestion but i give them the like the driving power right i want you to make the choice but here's what i use so then they'll reply and they'll tell me what pack should, pack option they want or they'll give me more questions for example here she sent me a message back and she said is the pre-workout that unicorn juice you swear by lol how would she know that, you guys? Because I talk about it every day, right? She knows that she knows that I call it unicorn juice. That's power. That's power because that's power and consistency. That's power in me. I created a brand of something simply because I literally have called the same thing for almost two years now. Right? There's power in that. So even if you're like, oh my gosh, I call it, you know, golden sprinkles and no one cares about my golden sprinkles. Not yet, but they're watching. Keep at it. Because once she said is the pre-workout that unicorn juice you swear by, I said, yep. I didn't tell her anything. I didn't say, oh my God, you need it. Oh my God, I, I love it. Fruit punch is my favorite. I just said, yep, with a laughing face. And her, la her next line is perfect. I'll do it. And I just clarified, so you want to go with deluxe because she said she wanted the energize. So I'm going to guess that, you know, she sees that that's part of the deluxe pack. So I clarified, you want deluxe? Yes. And then I went on to the next step, which is to set them up with their, get them their flavors and everything ready. So when we get to the pack options process, you guys, this is maybe where you would then come into money concerns, hesitations, right? And that's normal. If somebody's saying, you know, oh, I just can't like, so it's $160. You're going to gift them a $10 promo code. And then they say, oh, I just can't swing it. It's $150. This is where I would break down. I would say, listen, this is like the feel felt found. I know how you feel. 
I felt the same way. When I started Beachbody, I had to put my, put my very first challenge pack on a credit card. And I'm going to tell you what, my challenge pack, oh my gosh, I just said something very Texas, didn't I? Charlie made fun of me the other day for saying, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> he told me that's like so Texas, babe. And I'm literally saying it all the time now. Not cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. So, but... When I, I, I would tell her, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. When I first joined, I bought a T25 challenge pack. It only came with transform, or not even transform. It only came with T25 and Shakeology. And that pack was $250. And I only got one workout program and one month of Shakeology. Now you're getting a full year of Beachbody On Demand. Let me break this down for you separately. If I got you Beachbody On Demand, that would be $99. So let's round up $100. If we got you a pack of Shakeology, that's $130. Now we're at $230. If I got you Energize and Recover, that's another $90. We'll just round up to $100 at school. That's now $330. And you're getting all of the collateral, which when my team bought the journals and my team bought all the like extra features to upgrade to MM100, that was about $60. So now you're at like, oh, we'll just keep rounding up. Now you're at $400. And this pack is only $209 for the deluxe. Or if you just want to do a basic pack, it's only $150. Now, you can still break down the value, you guys, and someone can still say, I don't have the money right now. And that's when you just put them on your follow-up for next month. Or circle back right before the promo goes away. Right? Like if morning meltdown is not going to be on sale in September, then make sure you set a follow up for like, you know, the, the very last of the month. So you can say, hey, the sale's going away. I know we chatted about it. I know that at that time you couldn't swing it. Just wanted to see if anything's changed for you because I want you to get this deal. It's still, it, it's not going to be $20 off anymore after this month. Right? So you can set a follow up to go back to them. That will happen. But it's important that at this point you figured out their pain points. You got to know their goals and why this group would be such a great fit. So that by this point, all they want to know is how do I get in that group, right? So this is the template I sent. And again, I'm going to show you all this stuff for um, how I figure out flavors. Now, keep in mind, this is for a deluxe pack. So you'd have to adjust it based on like if they're not getting Shakeology, then you take out these questions, right? Or if they're not doing the Energize Recover, then you take out those. I want you to notice the money question, though, that I put in every email I send when I'm figuring out their share of card. Last question. There are two ways to get you set up. The first way would be if you're looking to do this for one month and that's it. It's a regular paying customer, right? The second option is if you're looking to create more of a lifestyle change and cultivate a habit of self-care in 2019 and beyond and become a coach. You are welcome to coach others on their journey if you're looking to build a side hustle and I would absolutely mentor you to do that or you can simply work on coaching yourself. We're all coaches on Inspire Beauty. Some of us just coach ourselves and are learning that and navigating those waters. And some of us have figured out how to coach ourselves and are now working on helping guide others, right? I highly suggest this way because you'll, have, you'll be able to have more support beyond the first month. You'd be encouraged to share on social media as a way of documenting your journey. And you'd be supported as you work on your mindset muscles too. As a bonus, you'll get a discount on all your future orders. Like I said, it's a lifestyle, not a month. And you'd be plugged into my VIP community, Inspire Beauty. It's free to do this option when you enroll. And after that, it's $15 a month if you want to continue. Which option would you want to go with, one or two? Once I hear your answers, answers then I'll set you up with a share cart. And then you can review, edit, if needed, and place your order. Right? So this is how I get them set up with a share cart. Again, I send it to their email. This is a canned response. I don't retype this every time I talk to somebody. I might adjust it based on the conversation. Like if, like I said, if they're not getting Shakeology, then I take that part out, right? But this is how I can, I don't have to spend so much time giving information because it's scripted in my inbox. This last question, you guys, I ask everybody because what's the worst they're going to say? They just want option. You give them the choice. Which one do you want? One or two? I just want one. Cool, I've had people tell me that, but I've also had people tell me that they want option two and to get the discount and to be a coach, right? So give them that choice. Then the last step is the share cart and getting somebody started right. This is the awesome step, you guys, because this is when your work begins as a coach. So like 42 minutes of me talking of how I get to this point, by the time you get to this point, your job hasn't even really begun with them. Isn't that crazy? This is when your job begins. This is when you get to walk hand in hand with them and do life. And this is what separates Beachbody, you guys, from every other network marketing company out there. 
And this is why I love Beachbody and why I will stick with it till the day I freaking die. Because I don't just sell a lip gloss and say, have a nice life. I got my commission. I sell life change and I get to walk hand in hand with the people that are doing that. So when they reply with their flavors, you'll set up a share cart, you'll email them their link. And what I do is I also send a link in, a, in their message as well. And right now, because there's a promo code, I want to make sure they know how to use that. So I put setting up your share cart now, this is the promo code you'll enter at checkout. And I gave it to her. When you get to the billing, you'll see a blue link to click and enter it. I want to make sure she's equipped to do it so that she gets that $10 off, right? Then I, then I, I send, I set up the share cart. I send the email out, but I also send her the link. I copy the link and I send it as well. There's a little feature for you. It says copy link to clipboard. I copied the link to the clipboard and I paste it into my Instagram. That's why I love having an iPhone and a Mac because they speak to each other back and forth. I don't have to do like dual stuff, right? Um, send her the link and then I say, okay, I sent an email. Um, wait. I send an email too, but here's the link as well. Don't forget the promo code when you get to billing info and let me know once you're done so I can double check everything on my end. I always tell them that. Let me know when you're done so I can double check everything on my end because you never know. Sometimes maybe their order went to another coach because maybe they had a coach before previously. You never know. So it's important that you let them know, like, let me know once you're done so that you can go on the back end and check all your stuff. Once they've ordered, hooray, this is when your job begins with them celebrate shout them out and email them a getting started welcome email add them to the group whatever groups they need to be in inspire beauty or just the my challenge tracker group your your um challenge group group and be in communication with them during the first week to ensure they can navigate everything properly and after that make sure you've set like weekly follow-ups right because the idea here is you're helping them achieve their goals it all goes back to that very first part of the invite where they sent you back that questionnaire. You want them to hit that. You want them to achieve that. You don't want them to fall short of that. So I love to shout people out on social media that they committed. I add them to my list. Every month I do a list of 10. Um, and so I added her name and let people know like there's nine more spots left, right? Um, because this is social proof. Like you're watching me, there's people who are actually joining me, I promise, you know? Um, so she told me she's doing it. She told me when she was done. I told her that every, I send a voice memo back. Again, I want her to hear how excited I am about her joining. And so I let her know that I sent her a welcome email. I let her know that I added her to our challenge group. I let her know about um, downloading Beachbody On Demand app as well as the My Challenge Tracker app. And then I asked her if she knew what program she was gonna wanna start with. Now she did buy a morning meltdown pack, but um, I still wanna clarify like, you know, do you want to dive right into morning meltdown? Do you want to get like something going? You know, sometimes people want to do like a pre thing, right? Get back in shape. So she said she wants to start with 21 day fix. And so we've, we've started now having that dialogue there, right? So this again, the follow up stage, let me go back. At any point in this conversation, you guys, you asking for their email, you sending the first email, them sending the questionnaire back and you sending this follow up email them replying and you sending pack options and even getting down to what flavor options you want at any point in this conversation, they could fall off and you have to be on your follow-ups. That's why I said follow-ups are woven throughout this entire thing because I might send them all this stuff. They, they send me this, the questionnaire back and I reply with this and I never get the, those, those questions here at the bottom. I never get that back. So I gotta keep following up, right? And so it's important that you're tracking these conversations because at any point throughout this, you've gotta weave in follow-ups in a timely manner, 24 to 48 hours tops, so that you can stay on that excitement. Because remember, people like, they, they join these things based off of emotion. When someone's ready, it's because they're ready. Normally, I would not like do this on a weekend, but I knew she was ready. Like normally I would let somebody wait till Monday, but I was like, Ooh, no, I've been talking to her for way too many years. So pumped. I know her on a personal level. Like you can even see in my, my shout out picture, she's standing with my husband. Like I know her very well. And so I nope, I'm helping her like right now because I knew. So you also should know your people in that way. Like who is urgent? Like who just needs to get helped right now? And who can maybe sit on the back burner for a hot second, right? Um, and, and then follow up with them maybe in the morning. Okay. Let me stop this share or switch share. And I wanna show you, I'm gonna give this on the team page. And I just want you guys to see all of the emails I'm gonna to give to you.
And then what you're going to do is you're going to do your homework on how to do a canned response and you're going to add these into your canned response so that all you have to do is click on them anytime somebody wants this. So initial info, once they express interest, remember we say, oh my gosh, I'm so excited you're interested in the group. Let me email you more information. What email would be best, right? And then we send them this. This is literally the same thing I send every single time. It is, uh, the only thing I edit is I edit what the theme is that month or what like the new group is called, right? I just edit that part. Um, and then some basic bullets of the details. And then when they get down here, this is where the questionnaire is. And you could add your own Google form in here or a series of questions to the bottom of this. I can't wait to hear back from you talk soon. That's email number one. Okay, I sent it. Remember they send their questionnaire back. I have their goals now. Once you have their goals, this is the response I send here. Thank you so much for sending me back your completed questionnaire. I appreciate it. Let's chat about your answers. Now this is anything in hot pink, you guys, that's like, these are notes for you to, um, to take in. So you, you'd wanna erase this from your email. <laughs> Hopefully you caught on to that. The italicized parts um, are what you will reflect on. So for example, I always start with, it really sounds like you're ready to make a change that last. I know you have struggled in the past with and then you talk about what they struggle with. So if this person, for example, said they struggle with motivation. I always relate to them. I used to be the same way until I joined these groups and had the sisterhood grace and accountability to stick it out even when motivation ran out. The reality is motivation is a muscle that can only be strengthened by not giving up. So my promise to you is that I will show up if you will deal. So I relate to it. So anything after whatever it is they struggle with, you'd probably want to cater it to that struggle, obviously, right? Okay, I know, remember next paragraph, I talk about what's been helpful or what's worked for them. I know having a friend to join you has been helpful for you in the past, and that's perfect because you'll be in an online community of other women just like you who are working on their goals and supporting you to do the same. We're in this together. Boom. Two reasons why you need to be in our group. Your struggle, this is why, and the things that work for you, this is also why our group will benefit you. Then I tell them about the fitness. I tell them about the nutrition. Literally never change this part. The only thing that I go in and I edit before I send is I usually will change it to their name because at this point I'm not calling them girl, I'll literally call them by their first name and I'll change what they're struggle with and what they're successful with, right? Everything else stays the same until we get to the bottom. I check about if they have BOD, I check if they have a coach. This question um, can, because they were talking about motivating yourself, remember I told you, um, like sometimes you might need to ask for clarification on some things. Like I had the girl say she just isn't ever committed. Well, this person talked about motivating. So I wanted her to reflect on that a little bit. What does motivation come down to? Energy? Is it because of the morning? Talk to me, right? And then I asked you have five minutes to check in each day with our self-care sister. Okay, and that's it. Can't wait to hear your responses. Again, I send that email. I learned, hey, I emailed you back. There's a couple questions at the end. Can't wait to hear back from you, right? Once you get those answers, it sounds like they're ready to do this, right? So I check out their pack options. I give them a good, better, best option. Look at here. I personally, oh no, I actually have to get, get up here and, and show you this part. Check out your options and reply back with the option you'd like. I let them know again that they're $20 off this month. Now that might change month to month depending on the promo, right? So you gotta update this for that kind of thing. And if you do have a promo code, you can include that in there, the $10 I love to gift to you. So the base pack is only $150 for a year of digital fitness streaming, a month of superfoods or energize and recover, and access into my self-care system. That breaks down to 41 cents per day. I put that in there on purpose, it's not expensive. Literally not. And then I also show I've got the deluxe pack, so I have Shakeology, Energize and Recover, and then you'd insert whatever appropriate pack option is good for them. And then I just literally ask which pack option looks best for you. Once I hear back, we'll set up a share card. And then this is the flavor one. You're going to get all this. This is the one where the one last question. And then once you get that back, you'll set up the share card, you'll send them the link, and then you send them a welcome email. This is literally my system right here every time, you guys. This is how I don't word vomit on people. This is how I put them in the driver's seat so that they're in control. And this is how I also honestly have helped a lot of coaches recently get their first wins. I had a coach two weeks ago who'd never sold anything. She's been a coach on our team for like almost – probably almost three years now. She's never sold anything. She not only sold a deluxe pack, but she signed a coach at the same time, literally because she followed that verbatim, right? 
But the thing she sent me in the beginning, when she was like, Brittany, I, I'm like, I don't know what to say back. This is what I was thinking of saying. I literally had to scroll my phone like 10 times to see all the information she sent. And this person had messaged her and said, hey, I'm ready. If somebody's ready, you get them on the phone and you say, hey, let's walk through this together, sister, right? Like at that point, you don't have to vomit information, right? So it's also important that you understand that like, if somebody tells you they're ready, they're ready, right? Um, if somebody tells you they're interested, then that's when you go through like the goal setting process and all that. So I know that's a lot, but I, I believe that if you literally take this document that I'm going to give you on the team page, you upload it into your emails so that you have it on hand all the time, it will help you navigate once somebody says they want more information to get to in them in your group a lot easier, right? With a lot less like having to retype the same things over and over again. So questions, guys. No questions? I'm gonna hit.